Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're well and I hope you're having a good week so far. Okay, so I'm going for a dark base. This is Lamp Black by Amsterdam. And I'm going to use the colours of the rainbow to create a special piece today. So all my colours and the descriptions of those colours will be listed in the box below. So if ever you want any more detail about the colours that I'm using, my ratios and consistencies, you'll find those in the description box. So just check that out. So the black I'm using is Lamp Black. That's by Amsterdam. I'm just using my torch to get rid of any air bubbles. Air bubbles are created when you mix your paints together with either your pouring medium or your water. Now, in this case, I've mixed all my paints with just water, one part paint to one part water, and it's a fluid consistency, and it's a consistency that I would do and use with a Dutch pour. So that's the consistency that I'm going for today. But what I would say, and I say this on every one of my videos, is if you can get your base colour and consistency right, then it should flow really well. What I'm doing is I'm using my hairdryer to blow out the paints across the canvas to ensure that I've got good coverage and no puddles of paint in areas where it's inconsistent with other areas. So what I mean is I'm looking at the surface area and ensuring there's a good coverage, but also the same consistency across that canvas. That's going to help with the flow of the design. And when it comes to drying, the piece itself should dry evenly and consistently as well. So here I'm literally blowing out the paints until I'm happy that I've got that even consistency across the canvas. And remember, something that I always say in my videos is enjoy being in the moment. Don't rush this process. Don't judge yourself as you're creating. Just enjoy being in the here and now in the moment of your creation. And follow the process, of course, but don't worry about that end result just yet. Just enjoy being in the here and now. And that's something that I always do when I'm practicing my mindfulness and when I'm thinking about my own well-being. Because when I create and when I paint, that's when I'm in my happy place, when I can look at my paints and see what comes to me intuitively. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm literally aiming for the center of the canvas and I'm going to puddle pour the colors one by one on top of each other. And I'm going to use the order of the colors of the rainbow. So I've got my red, my orange, my yellow, my green, my blue, my indigo and my violet. And all I'm doing is I'm puddling those on top of each other, in turn, one by one. Now, I'm not necessarily using such a big canvas this time. So when you're puddling your paints, just remember and bear in mind the size of the canvas that you're working on. So I don't want to puddle too much paint in the centre, because with this piece, I would like to achieve some negative space completely around the canvas. I don't want to blow any of the paint over the edges. I literally want the design to be really focused in the middle. So that's my intention and that's what I'm going for. And that's why you'll see that I'm not really puddling too much paint in that center. Let me just take you in now and look at those gorgeous vibrant colors, especially against that black background. I think they're gonna really pop. So again, I'm just going to use my torch to get rid of any air bubbles and then I'm going to blow this design out. I'm adding a little bit more of the base colour, the lamp black, 
just around the colours. So when I blow it out, it will help with the flow of the paint on the surface of the canvas when the hairdryer touches the paint and blows that across that canvas. So I'm really excited for this. Let me get my dryer. It's on a cool setting and yeah, let's just go for it. Hold your breath and let's see what we can create. Again, don't be in a rush. Just take one blow at a time. Step back and have a look at the composition as you go. So I can see that I have lost some of my red, orange and yellow, but that's totally okay. I was actually expecting that because what I'm gonna do is I'm going to puddle those colors again in the middle. But I really wanted the other colors to fan out across the middle of that canvas. And then what I can do is really focus on the red, the orange and yellow when I puddle them again. But you'll see now that I have started the blowout with my hairdryer but I'm using my mouth a lot to do a lot of the blowing out from here on in. That's because it's quite a delicate piece. The canvas is fairly small. This is only a 16 inch by 12 inch canvas. So yeah, I'm going to puddle the three colors now, the red, the orange and the yellow, and then I'm gonna use my mouth to blow out that center piece. So I'm just using my mouth to blow air through my mouth onto the canvas. And I can do that because I can control that a little bit better. I can blow it in a direction that I want to blow it in. So I've got a little bit more control of the movement. But if you are doing this, don't forget sometimes just to step back and breathe and take in some more air. Because if you're going to use your mouth for a lot of the blowing, I don't want you to be fainting on the spot. So yeah, just, just pace yourself. But by adding the red, the orange and the yellow, again in small puddles on top of the colours we've already blown out, really helps your eye to focus on that centre point and those colours really pop through and really give this design the look that I'm happy with. So let me take you in for a close look now of the wet version and then I'll let it dry and I'll take you in for a closer look of the dry version. But some of these details, look at some of those colors around the edges. I've got all those rainbow colors in some of those edges around this piece and that's what makes this piece really special. I absolutely love it. I hope my camera can pick up some of these details, guys, for you to see. I hope that it also dries as vibrant as you can see it wet. So I'm going to let this dry. I'll continue showing you some of the details, some of those finer edge details. I, I'm just in love with those. And here we go, here's the dry version. The sun is already out, it's shining th bright through the window and it's actually allowing this piece to really pop. So I thought I would film you the dry version, show you this dry version now whilst it's sunny and you can see how gorgeous some of those colors are. Some of the details around the edges, the vibrancy of the paint has maintained throughout. This isn't yet varnished, so as soon as I apply, a gloss varnish to this it will help the colors shine even more so i'm really excited for that and i think these really work well on the lamp black background because it allows those colors to really push through and pop 
I'd love to know what you think. Let me know if you've enjoyed this piece. Thank you for being here today and I hope you have a great week ahead. Take care of yourself and I hope to see you again in the next video. I'll leave you with some of the details now. See you soon. Bye.